This morning on Look at Me Now, the Joy Fit Club, a terrific weight loss story. 42-year-old Kim Evans, an operations manager from Illinois, has lost an astonishing 211 pounds. Today, nutritionist Joy Bauer is here to welcome Kim to the club. But first, her story. Hi, my name is Kim. I have been overweight since birth. Food was everything to me. It was my friend, my blanket, my comfort, my lover, my soulmate. Food was my drug. It provided me with the one thing I needed, my fat suit of armor, which protected me from the outside world and from getting hurt. I walked around in a food coma for 39 years. As an overweight child, school was tough. From elementary through high school, the kids were very cruel. As a teenager, there were no boyfriends, no dances, no proms. I lived in my school books. I found refuge in homework. I had to be a perfect student. It was all I had. As an adult, my physical condition got steadily worse. I'd reached my highest weight ever, 347 pounds. I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. My feet hurt, my knee gave out all the time, and my back ached so often it felt numb. One morning, I saw a film version of Phantom of the Opera. The portrayal of the Phantom by the actor Gerard Butler woke up my soul. Put your thoughts of the life you knew before. I had spent so long walking around in my fat suit of armor, the film inspired me to transform my life. I slowly created an eating and exercise plan for myself. I realized that I was alive inside, ready to experience life, love, and happiness. Before we bring Kim out, Joy, what stands out in that story? Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful story. Kim used to be introverted and shy. After losing a whopping 211 pounds, she is social, she's outgoing, she enjoys comfortably crossing her legs, wiggling into a restaurant booth. But I think what stood out for me is at 40 years old, she just had her very first kiss. And she describes feeling like a teenager in a 40-year-old body. Oh, look, now you've built it up so much. Let's bring Kim out. Kim, come on out here. <laughs> look at you, Kim. How are you? It's Good. nice to see you. Come on here in the okay. middle for a second. You were backstage there, and you were watching that piece run with the pictures of you from before. What mm -hmm. goes through your mind when you see those? It's amazing, but it's happiness and sadness at the same time. Sadness for what? Just remembering what my life was like before, but overjoyed at being given the opportunity to change my life and live for the first time. But you know, you gave yourself the opportunity because it was your kind of epiphany, watching mm -hmm. Phantom of the Opera, the movie by the way, that kind of made you decide that that wasn't the way you wanted to live anymore. I can't describe what happened to me, but I'd seen the movie, I mean, I'd seen, I'd seen the story, I'd, I'd watched it, but I'd never seen that movie with that particular actor, and it just changed my life. I can't describe it. Joy, do, do you find find that many of the people you come across have such a moment, whether it's a movie or something else that absolutely turns their lives around? They do, and I think for Kim, what's atypical is she wasn't a dieter before. This really was her moment. And you have to stand over here so we could see your full length. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Well, I want to say something about that because you're right. You had never dieted. Never. And never. so this was the first time you really stopped to try to change your food consumption. Did you have a lot of setbacks as you began this? No. When I, that day, I just decided, and I was so excited, that through the whole process, I was excited every moment. I never had any doubts. And the one thing that's important is that you know it's going to take a long time, but you're so happy throughout it. You have such positive throughout it that it's not, oh, my gosh, I'm waiting for two years for the happiness. The happiness is there through the whole thing. What an inspiration. I mean, this, this is a beautiful story. Let, let's talk about what Joy, what Kim <laughs> used to eat and, and right. now how she's changed things around. What were the big problems? Well, the big standout for me was fast food. Like so many people, it was convenient. And she was not taking advantage of the healthier options that, fortunately, a lot of fast food joints do offer. So this was her before fast food lunch. 1,330 calories, and it's a cheeseburger, large fries, and a regular soda. Pretty darn typical. Mm -hmm. Now, when she does fast food, this is from Subway. It's a six-inch sub, turkey, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, hold the mayo. So when you look <laughs> at this, Kim, you say, okay, that's a pretty cool lunch. I, mm -hmm. can, I can hang with that. 395 but calories. This is a diet soda. This is a bag of baked chips. And just from this one simple swap, 
she was able to drop eight pounds each and every month. So you're not cheating yourself. Just you're still this. getting something that tastes good to you when you like to eat. What do we have over here? Okay, so this this. If you're going to tell me Snickers, the substitute for this, no, no, no. this is this. <laughs> I'm going to say most people aren't going to do that. Here's the thing. Kim has a ferocious appetite. Mm -hmm. She's a volume eater. Mm -hmm. So she needed to turn to foods that gave you a big, big bang for your buck. A lot of volume for a small amount of calories. And what I wanted to show is that for 440 calories, the king size Snicker is the same calorie equivalent as 11 cups of broccoli. So the, the broccoli is what she used to fill herself up. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is what it got her. Yeah. Real quickly, advice for other people who may be watching who haven't turned that corner yet and gotten to the transitional period? If you were I was and you were as sad and unhappy as I was and you thought you couldn't do anything, that it was too late, I mean, I was 39 when I started, I didn't think I could do it, just know you can do it. There's nothing that can stop you. And you I'm happy. Yeah. Kim, thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you so Joy. Much. Thank you thank as well. You.